here at the Playboy Mansion with Michael Capon. Is this your first time here? Uh, no, it's not my first time here. Actually, uh, I was here when I was 17 at an event, but yeah, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time since then? Uh, no, I, I went a couple more times after that, but um, I, I don't really get out too much. But um, yeah, this looks like it's going to be fun. I came to play poker anyway, so. So you are always busy with either writing, singing, acting, modeling. What's going on now? Um, same thing, still in the studio. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working on my album, like, just playing with different styles. I kind of found, like, a, a really cool home for my music. It's more of a Coldplay fusion with a little Linkin Park edge. Because, um, especially with the whole um, death of Michael, it really inspired me to why I got into music originally was because of Michael Jackson. Hence the reason my name is Michael as well, because my mom and dad are huge Michaels fans. And, what he did to the world is kind of like what I want to do with my music is to really inspire and change the world. So I'm going to London next week to perform. Um, so I'm going to test out some of my music there and see how that goes. So and uh, and hopefully have the right sounds and right music for my album for my film that comes out on October 9th. So I want to do a double release. What's the film that comes out in October? Uh, Night of the Demons. It comes out October 9th. Yeah. OK, so how was your reaction with the whole Michael death? Uh, you know, um, it was it was pretty weird because I actually got to meet Michael a couple weeks ago, and uh, my, Lana is a girl who I do um, vocal lessons for, and she booked his music video, so I went down to Culver City and um, got to go meet him, and then a couple weeks later he uh, he passed. So it was like it was really weird. Um, <laughs> How was it meeting him? What what was that like? It was just it was amazing. Like he's just the humble, sweet guy that you know I always thought he was. You know, he just really didn't he didn't push too much. Kind of seeing him kind of like made me like, kind of give me like some reassurance that I'm in the right place. Kind of like don't push yourself, just be who you are as an artist and like if people like you, they like you, if they don't, they don't. You can't really, you can't really make things happen. You just got to be yourself and if people love your music and love your art, then they're going to love you. If they don't, then as long as you're doing what you love, then that's all that really matters. Are you going to write in your music something about Michael inspiring your, your career? Uh, I, I haven't put, I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, that's, might be a little too touchy right now to uh, to write about something like that. Um, I might indirectly write something about him um, or just people who have inspired me. Um, but yeah, definitely in interviews, I don't mind telling people that like he definitely inspired me. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have fun tonight. You too.